In this video, we are unlocking the Segunda inside of Peroxide. Now, this is my last special ability I need to unlock across all three of my classes. I've already picked up my full Stendig, my Bonkai, and now it's the Segunda. And let me tell you, this was not easy to do to the point where I actually had to swap out my resurrection because the one I had made the boss really, really hard to fight. But it was worth it. You'll see in the video. But if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe it is free and it really does help out the channel but let's go ahead and get started because we have a lot to do okay so what we have to do first if we want to unlock our segundo we need to get our stats a little bit higher because as of right now we are not set up to actually earn it we, what we have to do is we have to get level 90 and i also want to max out my stats in general so we're going to try to get s limit break which currently is the highest if i erase it by the time i post this video but as of right now s is the highest i can go and once we pass level 80 then i'll be able to start getting the second condition that I want to do, and that is we have to get enough points, which doesn't tell us how many we have necessarily. We just got to keep going till to lets us actually start earning Segunda. But I'm not even level 80 yet, so I'm going to go ahead and just hunt down. I'm guessing Vastikars because they're here. Oh, I'm getting so many here because they were all grouped up already. Yeah, that was worth it. Okay, yeah, that definitely gave us a lot. That's why you fight Vastikars if you can, because they give a lot of experience. I got more I got more than six levels there. Okay, upgrade you. Oh my gosh, I went up so high. <laughs> and can't I like search for those? Yeah, look, you can join servers that are purple, I think. Yeah, see, there's there's another set here in the server. Two other good reasons that you get a lot of these time shards, which are good for the crystals. And also, there is a chance to get a hollow hunter coat, which would just be fun to get. Oh, and there we go. We can now rank up to S rank or S minus. And we're also above level 80, so I can actually start getting points. That was really fast. These are really good for experience. Man, I maxed up my clan skill. There we go. Okay, well, that one ended. I'm in a total of 30 timepieces. That's actually insane. Level 95 also. Okay, I just maxed out my other two stats because I'm S minus. And I want to go ahead. I haven't done this on this account yet. But if I talk to this NPC right here and fight him for spirit, he'll give me five trading stars on it. Alongside stats, of course. I've already done the Soul Reaper equivalent, so let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, look how much damage that does. And there we go. That gave us five stars and a bunch of spear. That was definitely worth it. Okay, I got up to 40 from another round. I got four crystals. Let me see what these do. Because <laughs> they all do different things. I have Crystal Inferno. This one makes it where any attack that I hit with it does fire damage. The white one adds more knockback to a move. This one basically adds a dash with dodge frames before you use the skill that's on. And then the last one basically makes the enemy's screen darker. So like the only really good one is the fire one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the boom box. I'll just save the rest of these for later. Also, I just realized I never actually did something as a hollow. I need to find an NPC. I never got my resurrection weapons, but in my defense, I didn't know I had to get them. I thought I just rolled fists. So luckily for me, I've been in this world for a long time because getting to this point at Hollow took a while. So I've explored basically everything in this area. 
But essentially what you want to do is you want to head over to the incursion area where all the Soul Reapers and Quincy's hang out. And you want to go behind here and absorb this. So I should now be able to just follow this path all the way over here into the giant ravine and I just fall into this end area. Luckily for me, I'm very far in, so I have a lot of flash steps to be able to do it very fast. And now that I'm here, if I activate my resurrection... Yeah, there we go. We got a weapon now. Awesome. And I think we can reroll it, right? Because there's a specific weapon I want. I have the axe right now. Let me leave this area because this area has negative lighting. Okay, there we go. We see it better. That's pretty cool. I changed my outfit, by the way. I like this one a little bit better. But we have the axe. There's a, spe I mean, there's a specific one I want to get. One second. Ah, there we go. First try. I have the guns. I found a way to have guns on this class, too. This is perfect. And they're quite fast, too. That's why I want these instead. It's because they're not the fastest one, but they are still quite fast. Look at that. Dude, we got guns. It also makes the Saros much cooler, too. It looks like I'm using the guns to fire them. But yes, we got guns now. Oh, yeah, this, this I ha I'm having way more fun all of a sudden. Also, the run works because they have bull hordes. It looks like I'm just charging as a bull. And there we go. We can now break up to the max rank. Perfect. Yeah, just checked and the NPC has the text that lets me know that I have above 200 points. So I'm at least halfway there. I haven't actually run that many rounds. I think it's mainly all the Storm Vastikars I've been killing. Because they give 10 per. So I'm just going to go run a whole bunch of incursions and to get the rest of the points. Especially because they can also give me level stats, which I desperately need also. I just want to get everything maxed out. Hey, we have enough. Awesome. So this boss is, is going to be fun. Now this boss, according to the Trello, has six phases. The ones I was fighting for the Soul Reaper and Quincy both had, I think, technically two. But after phase two on this boss, he does have a checkpoint. So I got to defeat the first two waves. No, I just, I just want to check. Is there any tricks for this boss before I go in there? Okay, let's try this. So the first phase, I think, is just the boss himself. Yeah, it is. So I do a bunch of damage to that, though. Okay, there we go. First phase is done. That wasn't too bad. Now it spawns into Ancients. That are supposed to be a little bit more difficult than the average one, which is perfectly fine because I kill these things really easily. And then once I beat this, then it saves. I only got to do this part once, luckily. And even luckier, they fight you one at a time, so it's not that difficult. The so one's dead. And the second. There we go. So now I think this guy respawns. Yeah, there he is. I do a bunch of damage to him. And he does a bunch of damage to me, too. Okay, there we go. That phase is done. So I think we're on phase four now. And yeah, here we go. Now he spawns in a minion to fight for him. So I'm basically just fighting a bunch of small NPCs over and over again. That's basically what this fight is. Oh, and he heals. You've got to be kidding me. I thought I was making progress. Oh, fun. This is a fun one. This is a, this is a domain and a half. This is a Segunda. I'm fighting the enemies with Segundas now. Oh, I'm dead. And I lose money while doing this. You've got to be kidding me. Let's do it again. And this should start on the phase where he spawns in. Okay, so yeah, now after I defeat the first guy, it immediately throws me into the first Arankar. Which is not going to be fun. Not at all. Okay, I'm going to try something because these bosses scale off of your stats. I just went ahead and reset my stats before I lost all my money while trying to fight the boss. And I just want to see what happens if I try to fight it with just 30 vitality. Because I know, like, my damage scales... It's damage scales off of my damage. So if I just have no damage, then I, we should have a pretty good time. Because, like, I'm not winning that fight. I'm just not good at the game. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's see if I just die right away. Because I have no health. Oh, yeah, look at that. I took, like, no damage from that. He's also taking, like, no damage, though, either. My lord, this boss just doesn't let you hit. Like, I'm blocking, and it just ignores it. Okay, I've changed my stat set. 190 vitality, 300 spirit. Let's see how this works. My old stats just weren't doing it. 
hopefully we'll be dealing lots of damage and he will not be dealing any damage to me now yeah pretty good chunk of damage to him haven't been hit yet so i don't know how much i've lowered on his damage hopefully the goal is that yeah he doesn't do that much he still does a decent amount and i'm convinced that his abilities are faster than mine too like cooldowns and stuff because he spams these abilities okay there we go that's the first fa phase i think i have three more to go now there we go got him third of the way done okay there we go okay that's the first one now i have another npc i gotta do the same thing again basically i am doing better this time though i think my new stats are helping Okay, now he's in his next phase. This is not gonna be fun. I have to also fight the boss after this too. Luckily, it heals me. Otherwise, this would be impossible. Oh no. The acceleration would be fun to have that because I could definitely get some damage off if I had that freeze ability, but I don't actually know what my Saguda ability is on this class. I know what some of the others are. I just don't know what mine is, which is a bit weird not to know. But there we go. Okay, so now I'm fighting the actual boss. This is the final phase. And I do, I'm doing quite a bit. We might be able to do this. Yeah, this stat set's definitely where it's at. This is my first time actually fighting this boss. All I know is that there is a specific attack that he has that does way too much damage. I just don't know what it does or what it looks like, so I don't know how to prepare for it. So I just have to hope I don't get hit by it, whatever it happens. I will say, having the music one helps considering I have that AoE attack. So I'm able to just camp an area to hope that he runs into it. Yeah, let, let this be a lesson. If you're having trouble with the boss in this game, it might not even be you that's the problem. It could just be your stats. Because I'm doing nothing different except for maybe fighting a little bit more effectively. Like the only true difference is my, is my stat build. And there we go. I think that's it. I just got to execute him. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got the Segunda. Bring forth a, bring forth the soul of guitarist. Hit someone with a guitar and unleash, and unleash an epic solo. Oh, I know what I have. Oh no, I know which what I have. This is gonna suck because I'm bad at rhythm games. Okay, I want to, I want to use my Segunda. Let me head somewhere that I can actually see. This place is way too dark. Here we go. We 100% on the bar. Let's go to activate this and pretty interesting outfit okay let me go ahead let me put you on the bar and activate this yeah look at this that is a lot and the better i am at that the more damage it does so i'm most likely gonna re-roll off of music now because that is difficult to say the least but it has had the potential to be the strongest one in the game if you're really good at rhythm games. If you can play a rhythm game, then you can easily, like, one-shot a player if you hit him with it. But I'm not good at rhythm games, so I'm gonna have to re-roll my entire resurrection to try to get a new one. I am only using a common, though, so it's fine. Okay, let's try that again. So activate you. Activate you. Nope, yeah, <laughs> I'm not good at rhythm games. <laughs> I'm going to have to re-roll my resurrection purely because I can't play that game. I will say, though, having music for everything up to this point is super powerful. Look at my avatar. Really cool avatar. Okay, it's time to see if we can spar the boss. So if we go ahead and once you unlock your Segunda, you go into your spirit realm. And then you have to hone your skills with the NPC. Oh, he spawns in right away. And he has the exact same skill set as you. 
Yeah, something tells me I'm gonna have to change my stats once again. On the bright side, I don't lose money anymore, so I can probably just go ahead and grind some money real quick. Okay, just the experiment. I have zero in everything. I want to see how the boss acts. The fight's actually easier when I have zero stats. That is hilarious. But obviously not having any stats does not help. Okay, I'm at 40. Right, I do a lot of damage now. Okay. This is definitely the strategy. I also only have 40. Yeah, look at this. I'm doing so much damage. I almost want to get, I almost want to get more spirit, but I don't want to accidentally ruin this. Yeah, there we go. That was very smooth. And there we go. The first win. So with spirit, now we have 266 spirit. Yeah, I told you the gourd is powerful. Let's see if this fight's now just miserable. Oh my god, I just so much damage now. But so does he! Okay, I need to not be sitting next to the boombox. I can win this if I do it right. I just need to combo him and not let him do the boombox. There we go. Immediately. Oh, I missed. Oh, that one shot me. Okay, so... I can't let him use that move either. If I got more spirit though. <laughs> oh God, okay. Ooh, I dodged it. And there we go. Okay, that's two victories. This is possible. This is, it's just very annoying. Wow, okay, that move's really also annoying. Okay, that's just cheating. Basically, if I hit by that, I get killed no matter what. Because the AI cheats and doesn't have to play the mini game. Okay, there we go. Another victory. I basically just have to get a really good combo to win. Okay, another victory. Not exactly what I wanted for a victory, but it definitely worked. Okay, that's it. I'm re-rolling music just because no matter what I do, even if I'm comboing him, he'll still hit me with these attacks. And like, there is no cooldown for them. So if the AI even has like a millisecond, he'll drop it, which just one shots me. So I'm going to go ahead and use all the rerolls I have and try to get something else. Literally anything else would be better than what I have right now. That in the mini game. The AI cheats because it doesn't have to play it. So I'll go. How many do I have now? Yeah, I have three rolls. Let's get something else. Yeah, there's Astra. Let's test out Astra. This also scales off a of spirit. I did reset my stats though because just the seed, it didn't really help. But yeah, okay. This new. Resurrection is much better. I can actually combo it, and there isn't random skills that can pop off in the middle of a combo. Another victory. And another. I think I only need to do one more. And then I'm done. Okay, please be the last one. Ah, oh, it wasn't. Okay, please be enough. I beg you, please. Ah, no purple yet. Okay, let me rejoin. Ah, now it's purple, but my ability doesn't have any marks on it. But it is purple. Let me rejoin one more time. I'm kind of concerned that I might have broken it. Because I reset it and did the grind. I did not rejoin the server after I reset my skill. Ah, there we go. Much better. I'm no longer scared that I broke my game. No, but yeah, if you're having trouble, especially if you're using music, just re-roll it. Just use Product Essence and re-roll it instead of paying 200 Robux. And hopefully you get Astra. Because Astra with Cyclone 
that's an excellent combo but my stats were all screwed up i probably could have gotten more spirit before i started doing that but i didn't want to get more and screw up my afk basically because i was basically afking that that was very easy and there we go fix my stats to how i like them so i should be dealing a lot of damage now and on the upside, I no longer have to play a really stupid minigame every single time. I want to use my Segunda. So like overall, we're doing much better now. Now here's an Ancient. Here we go. I'm going to show you how much damage this does. We're going to hit an Ancient with it. Look at that. I basically killed it. I'm guessing that is our super Omega ability. So that makes sense. And I should be able to use three or four of them every single time I activate this. Oh, look at my eyes. Oh, I look so good. 